Do you want to be a video? Do you want to be a video? You'll be famous. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. Well, hello everyone, Dan Herd with Dan Herd Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am here on the Fraser River with the Mile Zero Rock Club. That's the Lilouet Rock Club. They've invited me out to one of their special trips where they're going out on the Fraser River. They're looking for agates, gold, and jade. So my job today, I have to get out on the boat, go down to a bar, a claim down river, and we're gonna meet everyone and see what we can find. So, wish me luck, and I hope you enjoy. Did you find a rock? He found a rock. Show me the rock. Which rock? That one? <laughs> so this here is Tim. He's going to be our boat operator to take us out to the claim today. He runs the Fraser Canyon River Ranch. A great little place to stay while you're in Lilouet. All sorts of stuff to do. Cabins. A yurt. No, a dome. A dome, tents, anything you want. Teepee Great place. Tents. A teepee tents. Awesome. He's going to be taking us out to the claim today. Thank you so much, Tim. Look forward to it. And here comes Rick, who uh, organized this whole event. Thank you so much, Rick. You're welcome, Dan. How's it going? It's pretty Woo! good. Well, here we are on Tim's Island claim. Only way here is by boat. Let's find the good stuff. So I've been at the island here for 10 minutes or so and walked around and found a few pieces of sort of the lower quality jade so I can show the people what they're looking for when it comes to jade. Got a few people to introduce you to. Rocky. Rocky. Rocky and Philip. Philip. And this is Rick. He, uh -ho! Uh, he organized the whole <laughs> event and you met Tim already. Hello. And we have a little bit of low quality jade to show them right now. Okay, here are a few rocks of your typical Fraser River jade. Now, what I find with most of these rocks is that about 50% of them are good jade inside, about 50% of them are, you know, really crap. When you, you don't know until you cut them. A rock like this, and this is a very common looking rock here. A rock like this has a skin about two millimeters thick on the surface. And about half of them when you cut it, it's beautiful jade inside. And about half of them when you cut it, it's this you know, opa opaque green that's just not very good. These often come with a very yellow skin. This is kind of a green, but these often come with a yellow skin on top of them. This one here is kind of similar. It's got a bit of a more yellow skin. I do find when it's not shiny like this, when it's more powdery, that often those are serpentine. You don't really know until you cut a fresh surface and scratch it to see if it's soft. This is more of a a higher quality one. Let me look it. Ah. And you can really see the green. And if you cut a slice out of that, it would be a very nice transparent green in it. This here, ah, I think is jade. The surface doesn't quite look right, but when I, when I tipped it over, it had that ping. And that's the ping that you're looking for. That ping is what you're looking for in jade. That really indicates it's a hard, hard, dense rock. And it's kind of got the right look. It is green, it's got the right sound. This is one that I would cut, I'd take home cut and see if it's actually nice and green inside. None of these are the really high quality jade that we do find on the Fraser. When you find a piece of that, there's just no questioning it. You just know it is jade. Hopefully we find a piece of that today. Everyone's out there looking for jade. Let's go find a high quality piece. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, just got back from a very long walk to the other side of the bar where I did find lots of great jade. Tim, Tim's right now getting it wet to have a good look at it. You wanna pour some water on these two as well? Those, those two, uh, those are my favorite two. Although that was pretty nice. I don't know if the camera no. without a without a real big light is showing the green here, but this is amazing green jade. I will definitely take really good pictures of this with my flash camera when I get home because these are going to show up so nice. Yeah, that's the stuff with the yellowish skin. And Tim found here, Tim tap it. Oh yeah, that there is a nice piece of jade as well that Tim just picked up. Did we find some agates? Oh yeah. Oh, I haven't found any agates yet. I've been looking for agates and there's tons on this beach. Oh, my eyes have not been catching them today. Those are the yeah. Those are like the Lillooet Fraser River color. Carnelian agates. Yep. And they get really, really red here. I'm too focused on jade right now. I gotta start looking for the agates. You were, oh sorry, it was Sharon, right? Yeah. Sharon and? Maureen. Sharon and Maureen. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. And Celia over here. <laughs> hey, Celia. Hi. Oh. More of the perfect carnelian agates. This one's cool with all the holes in it. Yeah. A little bit fresher, hasn't been tumbled as much. Oh, you got bonkers cool. here, buddy. <laughs> Not quite. Too bad it's got a pocket in it, but it's just... That'd be a beautiful college bay. We'll throw it in with the next. Look at the color on that carnelian agate. That is beautiful. So as we were calling Rick over to carry a big one, we found an even bigger one. So Rick, we now have one for each hand for you. Okay. <laughs> this sounds like a dog for the 13 camel. <laughs> They call this rock Fraser River Turquoise because of the turquoise color to it. We've tried making things out of it before. It just doesn't look all that impressive when you make something out of it. But it's a really neat looking rock. And this is serpentine. It has a very similar look to the jade, except the powdery surface and all these shiny little crystals you see all through it. If I scratched it, this would be very soft. This is serpentine. And we've been seeing a lot of serpentine on this bar. And look at that beautiful looking carnelian agate. Very small one. That's like the size of a pea but really pretty. Now there's a honker. I can't carry that out of here. But beautiful, beautiful green. <laughs> and then there's one twice its size. <laughs> I couldn't even lift that one if I wanted to. <laughs> there's a crazy rock. But we're not out here looking for crazy rocks. We're out here looking for Jade. <laughs> Well, we just went for an hour walk along the other side of the island and found that there is jade everywhere there of all sorts of different kinds, shades, colors, qualities. We brought back a fairly good schwack. I can't take all of this with me today, so I'll definitely go through it and look at the higher quality pieces to pull back off the island. We do have to take a boat ride. I don't want to sink the boat. Now, let's see if I can go find some more of that carnelian agate that everyone else is finding, just not me. It's nicer walking without that backpack and 150 pounds of jade in it. <laughs> that looks like a good area to find an agate. There we go. All I had to do was start actually looking for the agates and I found one in like two minutes. There's a typical piece of serpentine, very green, very jade looking, but the surface is all powdery and rough with those little shiny crystals. Definitely serpentine. Ho 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 ho, I'll have to take that one and add it to the pile. That is amazing. Agates, I want agates. Find some agates. There's gotta be agates out there. Ooh, another piece of jade. Can I point to it? Uh, where is it? Ooh, right there. So I decided to go looking for agates. I thought I won't bring my backpack with me. That way I won't pick up any more pieces of jade. What do I do instead? I pile up the jade over there and I'm back to pick up my backpack because those were really nice pieces of jade. Oh, only found one piece of agate, but there'll be more to be found. Well, it's not my day for agates, that's for sure. I haven't found many of those carnelian agates here on the bar, but I have found a lot of jade. 
I got so wrapped up in rock hounding, I never did go gold panning. I should go down to the river and do at least one pan, see what it's like. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to do too much here because we do have to get going. The boat is leaving soon. So one quick pan. Let's see what it holds. Here we go. Oh, I see one piece of gold. Oh, I see a few. Oh yeah, there's a little flex all through here. Let's get out the close-up cam. So, a couple of tiny flakes. A couple of bigger flakes. Nothing to write home about, but there's gold. Well, we are done here on the island claim. Tim's Island Claim. Do you have a name for this claim? It's called The Big Island. The Big Island. There we go. We found a lot of jade, a little bit of agate, and there was a little bit of gold to be had by a few people. Wasn't the best gold day, but it was an awesome agate day. Agate day? No, an awesome jade day. <laughs> and some people got good agates too. Have to say, say a big thanks to Tim for driving us out here, and of course to Rick for for inviting me onto this trip. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, I hope I've earned your subscription. And a big thanks to everyone for watching, especially my patrons, because of the support of my patrons, I get to make these weekly episodes of Dan Heard Prospecting. Hope you're all having an amazing day. I sure am. Until the next one.